It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. One of the most intimidating pro wrestlers in history, Dr. Death Steve Williams, possessed an uncommon mix of daunting size, brute strength, and natural athletic ability that made him a perfect fit for the ring. Born and raised in the Denver suburb of Lakewood, Colorado, Williams was the youngest of four children. At the University of Oklahoma, he competed as an amateur wrestler, where he was a four-time All-American. Williams started every game in 1982 for the Oklahoma Sooners at right guard. In 1983, he was elected by the USFL to play for the New Jersey Generals. But one year earlier, he began wrestling for Bill Watts Mid-South. He tag-teamed with Ted DiBiase and feuded with Eddie Gilbert and the Nightmare. He worked for other territories also, including Mid-Atlantic Pro Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling until 1987, when he joined the WWF. He was involved with Jimmy Garvin's war with Kevin Sullivan's Varsity Club in 1988, made the second of two face turns in 1989, and feuded with Lex Luger over the NWA United States Championship. In 1990, he joined All Japan Pro Wrestling, but continued to work sporadically in the U.S. during that decade. In 1998, he rejoined WWF, where he took part in the infamous Brawl for All competition. And in 1999, he was involved in a brief angle with Jim Ross. His mid-card storylines, according to Williams, in one shoot interview, were meant as a way to build his character up on TV before entering a main event feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin whose legal name was at one time Steve Williams. Williams was then released for needing further time to rehab an injury and for refusing to work for Japan's Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling, with which the WWF had talent exchanges. He returned briefly to WCW later in 1999, then had a second full-time run with AJPW in Japan, an arrangement that ended in 2003. A year after that, he underwent surgery for throat cancer and was declared cancer-free the next year. He continued to wrestle until his last match in Colorado Springs, Colorado in August 2009. Meanwhile, the throat cancer returned, and Williams' health gradually worsened. His last public appearance was at the KNS WrestleFest Wrestling Convention on December 12, 2009 in Carteret, New Jersey. Three weeks later, Steve Williams succumbed to his illness at the age of 49. Williams was posthumously inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2021 as part of the Legacy Wing. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.